hey guys and welcome back to another tutorial so in this one we are going to look at how we can change levels in Unreal. as you can see here i have two maps that i want to be able to switch between when i play the game here i have a white map that is already opened and i also have a red map and i also have these doors here when i play the game you can see that uh, i can go through these doors and go to the other level I also have a fading effect that makes the transition look better and smoother. So in this tutorial, we are going to talk about this concept and see how it's done. Let's jump right in and get started. Alright, in order to change levels, all I need is one function and it's called open level. Here I'm gonna go to my level blueprint and here type open level and as you can see I have two functions here. The first one is called open level by name and the other one is called open level by object reference. If you choose this one you can just type the name of your map and if you choose the other one you can select the map that you want to go to by uh, finding it here in this list and selecting it I want to go to the red map so here I'm going to choose it and that's all I need to do to be able to switch levels now what I need is to call this function and there are a lot of ways to do it in this case I am working in my uh, level blueprint but you can also create a blueprint actor and uh, call the function in your blueprint Here I want to call this uh, function by entering the door. So here I'm going to use a trigger box. Just type box here and drag this trigger box to your scene. Place it properly and now when our character hits this box, we can call the function we made and this way we can switch levels. Having the trigger box selected, go to the level blueprint, right click and here you can add events for your trigger box. I'm gonna use uh, a collision and an actor begin overlap. When an actor overlaps my trigger box, I want this function to be called. So just uh, connect them and that's all you need to do. Now you can see that when I play the game and go through this door, I can go to the other level. We can implement the same mechanism for this door as well. So when we collide with the box trigger, we go back to the white map. Just go to the red map, add a trigger box to the door and then add the same function and this time choose the white map. So let's go to the level blueprint, add an event for the trigger box and then open level this time choose white map and that's it now from the red map we are able to go to the white map and we are also able to go back to the red map and that's basically it now the next thing we want to do is to create a fading effect. It makes the transition look smoother and it makes it look much better. In order to create fading, we need a widget blueprint. So let's go to our content browser and create a widget blueprint. Let's name it fade to darkness and open it up. Here I need a canvas first, so let's search for it and add it here. And now we need an image. Drag the image here as well and then anchor it like this and then zero out all these values here. We want it to cover our canvas, so we don't want any offset from the size of our canvas. So put them on zero and we are good to go. We also want it to be black, so here scroll down and change the tint into black. 
now we want to create an animation for this and we want to change its opacity over time so here we need to work with our animations if you do not have this section here just hit this animations button here and also you can dock it in layout here i'm gonna hit animation create new animation and call it fading and then i'm gonna add a track and select the image that i added to my canvas i want it to go from being completely transparent to black so first i need to put the opacity on zero and add a keyframe and for example after two seconds we want it to be black so put the opacity on one and add a keyframe now you can see that we have this smooth transition and now we want to put it on our screen when the level transition is taking place i'm gonna go to the graph section and here delete these guys and create a custom event let's name it play fade and then i want to play animation so play animation and the animation we want to play is obviously the one that we made so drag it here and connect it right now in order to call this event we want to go to our, our level blueprint and before the open level function is called we want to call the function that we made so here uh, let's create widget first add it to our viewport and obviously we want to choose our widget we made in our content browser and also plug this into the target and now we are good to go now we are able to call the function we made in our widget blueprint so drag a wire and type play fade here it can't find it and the reason is that this context sensitive option is enabled disable it and you can see that uh, your custom event uh, can be found here also connect this return value to the target and now everything should work fine let's compile and play and see what happens well everything did not go well and the reason is that we missed a critical thing here uh, the reason we did not see the black screen is that this open level function is called immediately after the animation so we basically do not have any time to see the animation here we just need to add a delay function to uh, solve this problem so here type delay and then uh, put this for example on 2.2 the duration of the animation is two seconds so we see the fading for two seconds and also we have a 0.2 second duration that uh, the screen is going to be pitch black and after that we are going to go to the other level so compile and play and now this should work fine Yeah, as you can see it's working perfectly and uh, we can also implement the same system uh, for the transition between the white map to the red map uh, as you may have noticed we did this for the red map so it only works when we are going from the red map to the white map but it doesn't work backwards so we can copy the same system and that will work as well here just select these guys hit ctrl c and then go to the white map let's open up the level blueprint and paste them between this uh, trigger box event and this open level function so hit ctrl v and then place it like this okay now you can see that i have the fading when i'm going to the red map from the white map and i also have it uh, when i'm going to the white map from the red map 
All right, the final thing I want to do is to create a fading effect when a level is opened. What I mean is that uh, when you open a level, you do not see any fading and it jumps straight right into the level. So in order to make the transition even smoother, we need the fading to take place when a level is opened. So let's go back and add that as well. Here we just need to go back to our widget blueprint and create another play animation function. Just copy and paste this and this time we want to run it in reverse. So change the play mode on reverse and we also need another event. Create another custom event and let's name it play fade 2. Plug it in and for the target just connect this fading animation because we are using the same animation that we made but this time we are uh, only playing it in reverse so when we open a level we go from black to completely transparent all right now we want to call the event we made here from our level blueprint and we want to call it as soon as the level is open so we just need an event begin play node and then we want to repeat this again we are using the same widget so again we need to uh, create widget and also we need to add it to viewports then we can call the play fade event we made we should uh, choose play fade 2 and also if you cannot find it here again you need to just uncheck this option here for this target again we need this return value and that's it now when the white map is opened we have the animation in reverse and we can have a fading effect when we uh, open this map let's compile and start from the red map so we can uh, see the effect when we open the white one and now play the game Yeah, as you can see now when we open the level we have a fading which makes it look uh, cleaner here for example we did not add the fading effect when the red map is open so when we go to the red map we do not have the fading if you want it just uh, open up the red map and in the level blueprint just repeat the same process we uh, had for the white map here I'm just gonna open the white map and copy everything here open up the level blueprint paste and also add the events begin play node and that's it now I can have the fading for both maps Yeah, that's it guys and I hope you enjoyed this video. If this was helpful for you and you learned something new from this tutorial, please don't forget to leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys for watching. Catch you later.